Let's get right down to it. What are we okay. talking about? All right. Well, the first thing to get out of the way is this is a long. Ooh. What? A long. Yes. Wait, Carson Block likes something? I know, see, it ain't so, but... <laughs> no, He's a new man. Fatherhood's changed him. You were right when you told us that you're not a ninja assassin. You're not a ninja assassin. No, I, I love everything. It's, uh... <laughs> We're, um, we're, we're long a company uh, traded in France called Bellare. Bellare. Uh, Bellare. It's a holding company. And the reason that we're long Bellare, it's actually really the mirror image of a lot of our shorts in that it has a very opaque corporate structure. But in this case, the opacity actually has created a huge arbitrage opportunity. See, people don't, investors don't understand really what this corporate structure does. And it looks like Bolare has about 2.5 billion shares outstanding. Because of the, this corporate structure, there's so much circular ownership that effectively you have all of this treasury stock that, and that's not being, under accounting rules, excluded. So the true shares outstanding, we estimate, are really about 1.1 billion. So that means that the public, instead of owning about 25% of this company, actually owns about 52, 53% of it. So if you look at it on a net asset value per share basis, which you would do with a holding company, that effectively more than doubles what the net asset value per share is. So this is something that you know, we think is worth at least 850 euro. Let's just back it up. Mm -hmm. Let's just slow sure. this down. It's a holding company. Correct. How exactly do you unlock the value here? Mm. How, do we, how about we spell it first for everybody? Okay. Sure. B O L L O R E. Yes. In the and, it's by, and, it's run, and it's run by a uh, French billionaire. Yes, Vincent, Vincent Bellare, who actually has he's known as the Carl Icon of France. And then you know, Fran Europe has a reputation for not having activist investors. I mean, this guy has been throwing very sharp elbows for about three decades. I mean, he's, you know, he's uh, tussled with Lazard. Uh, he's on the board of Vivendi now. So he's actually a very impressive investor.